Hello everyone, it's One Betty Bill, Bill from One Betty Bill. Out here today, we've got our leak in our sand filter. And so, what we're going to do for the pool here, we're going to go ahead and change the O-ring in it. What we're going to do, we're going to take off all these bolts from around the center of it, pull it apart, replace the O-ring. I replaced the sand a couple of weeks ago, but did not, like a foal, did not uh, make it quick and easy. I did not replace the O-ring, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the O-ring so I can stop that little bit of a leak there. And again, I've got the O-ring, I've got the uh, multi-purpose lube, and of course I've got the good old directions and a couple tools that I need. We're going to take these bolts off the center, pull the whole top off, and uh, deal with it then. Before we do that, we have to disconnect the hose to return and then take hose to the sand field. And for that, I've got a little gadget set up there. And we should be really good. There's a screwdriver to take the hoses off. Want to be a little bit quick with this. Just loosen the clamps on them and hopefully that pull off the pump. This is the one from the pump. Raise it above the water to pull level. These babies are nice. Just have to twist them around and it'll hold them in place. That should hold that in place. Now I'll go ahead with the other one. The return hose returns the water to the pool. Loosen that baby up. This is an older hose. Be careful when you pull them off so you don't pull them apart. Hold it up. Again. Take your handy dandy little flex cords. Wrapped around. Better than bungee. They don't stretch. Alright, so we're all set there. Get the old ring out of the way here. Get your little socket wrench set. Find one that fits well. Mine is a three fourths. Three fourths. Okay, now we're going to loosen them. And what you want to do when you loosen them, same as when you tighten them. Just loosen them two or three turns, go straight across. Loosen them two or three turns. Youngsters in your 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, teens, you can do this real quick. You can have this pulled apart in two minutes flat. What you can do. Okay, so we got the last of the bolts out. So now the water's drained out of here pretty much. So now we're going to go ahead and pull that top off. We take it off. Raise it straight up because there's a tube coming up in there that connects right into the center here, up the center. And you don't want to, you don't want to disturb that. So all you do is lift it straight up. Let the water drain out the excess. 
and set it aside. Now, here's the old ring. You can see it's a little cruddy. It got sand on because it just moved now. So now you want to take something and make sure that the little area where the ring's going to set is clean. I've got new sand in here, even though it looks kind of scummy already after a week. Get all that sand and crud out of there. Now, if you were to, if you were just changing sand, all you'd have to do is scoop out the sand, turn it over to the side, rinse it out. Of course, put a plastic bag over here so you do not get sand back inside this tube. Put a plastic bag over, tape it down, and then once you wash out the old sand, dump in. This particular model takes a hundred pounds a filter sand, make sure you get filter sand, just not play sand or something like that. Get the filter sand. And uh, some models take up to 130 pounds of it. Again, look at your other piece. Make sure it's clean. As you notice underneath here, there's a little tit here. A little, little indentation down here. They match on the bottom part. Make sure you get them lined up right so that your top is back on correctly and it won't leak again. We got our multi lube for O rings, gaskets, seals, and veils. May cause con temporary eye discomfort so make sure make sure you don't put this on and then rub your eyes clean your hands before then yeah I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put some in the bottom area here I usually overdo with this stuff get it on that little neck bone that little groove here put some on your o-ring sure your hands don't have any of that sand on it now be real careful when you set this on set it from the back in the groove and come forward gently. Sometimes it helps if you've got a sidekick helping you, but you don't want to be touching the sand. So start from the back, come forward, lay that baby in there. Okay. That's there now. I've got a little bit left. So I'm going to put it in the groove here. And on that little one. But otherwise, I find it's really just enough to cover both grooves. And the other So there we go. Hands a little sticky. Oh, I'm not gonna wipe them in my pants. Get yourself a clean paper towel. Wipe them off. All set. Now remember, you want this little this little knob here to go right into the bottom one here, the little groove. Get that excess water now and when you come on come on straight on down straight on down so you don't upset that oh there we go keep that in there set it down now go ahead make sure you got your washer on here 
we're just going to go all the way around first then we'll and that's all there is to it put the nuts on, tighten them down, put your hoses back on same way you took them off I've got to wash your leaves okay we've got washers in all of them and then go ahead and loosely put your nuts on use someone to help you if they like playing with nuts okay we've got all the nuts tightened down both in now we're going to hook up the hoses and see what happens here alrighty <coughs> got the hoses hooked back up I have replaced them a couple of times our filter is nine years old we've had it for a little while basically since we uh, had the house built here go ahead and loosen the top let the air out of the, the filter the water will fill in then we'll put the cap back on and uh, turn the baby on see what's happening hopefully there's no leaks oh, I can see it coming up here now here she comes my 19th nervous breakdown alrighty there we go put the cap back on ah. put the cap back in tighten the finger wise see what happens aha uh -huh. looks good no leak and that's your quick and easy way of changing the old ring and also talking about changing the sand in your sand filter this is a dull boy filter I've had it for nine years now and it's still running like a charm love it thank you for watching one ready to